He's the best voice actor we've ever really had on television or movies in America. He's also, what does he do? He's a director, he's an actor, he's a producer. He's, an he's a singer. He's uh, only ballerina is the only area of show business he has not yet Oscar host. He stars in the new, sh not, well, he's on the new sh uh, Showtime, I can say that? Wow, miniseries, the loudest voice. They never used to let me say that. You must have a lot of pull. And his latest album is Once in a While, Seth MacFarlane, everybody. Seth Come on, get dressed, the show's soon. <laughs> uh, first of all, you're doing more Orville's? Yes, we are. Oh, good, because yeah, I, I love the Orville. Oh, now, look so at kind. all your fans. Thank you. Thank I need you. a show like the Orville. I really did. You did remember you? when I made you do Captain Kirk impression? Oh, yes. The first time oh, yes. you were on? Yep, yep. I knew that was I was coming. there. Anyway, okay, so that's good. Uh, so I'm going to talk about the debate format, because yes. we were tweeting last night, I mean, yes. texting to each other, and also... I retweeted you. I've, I, amazing, we were thinking the same thing a couple of times. First of all, the audience. The Why do you need an audience? The audience has to fucking go and like now. Right. It's the worst. It's, it's a it's, bad. It's, it's, it's a bad for a million reasons. Yeah. First of all, it's, you know, the number of candidates in this, in this particular situation is obviously through the roof. So uh, every second counts. And when you have to, you know, I, I have a wonderful acting coach named Aaron, McPhe Aaron, Aaron McPherson, I'll call him out, who said that there was a time when not everything got a standing ovation. Right. And now every show you go to, everything gets a standing ovation all the time. Did you stand when Seth came out? <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I really think you should, you know. Uh, yeah, but, no, I know. But, it's, but every single, you know, tagline gets this woo. Well, because, they, well, they set it up. And it starts a, to eat up time. Well, I, I don't think this reason. can be a serious country until yep. we make the media, the news media, yep. the, a loss leader again. Like they used to be, where they didn't yep. have to make a profit. Yeah. Because I don't know who set this up, and I love MSNBC, <laughs> well, I don't, but it, or I, the D. The DNC, they could have stopped it. The DNC. They could have. They could have set it up in a much more mature way. They yeah. like this Thunderdome. Like, what's this thing where? How, how do you break in? Just start talking. Right, right. There's but no rules. Just interrupt <laughs> and be louder than the next guy yeah. if you're talking over it three affects, other people. Affects... Who quits first? Game of chicken. <laughs> this is not the way to pick a president. No, no. And, and the, it, it, it turns the candidates into a sideshow. Right. Everybody is grandstanding. Oh. Everybody's putting on a show for the audience. And the Such audience at home is not invited to think for themselves. No. Because they feel like they're watching Mike and Molly. And all these... <laughs> <laughs> and they are. All these humble brags about, you know, my everything is personal. Like, is, everything is a personal thing. Yeah, yeah. And everything has to build into this anger yeah. thing and outdoing virtually everybody else. You think you don't like kids in cages. I don't <laughs> like it even more than this guy doesn't. I, 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 I got to say, and I, I loved, I, I warmed up to, uh, to Kamala hugely last night. I thought she did fantastic. Um, but the one... But the one candidate who seemed immune to that was Buttigieg. Yes. Yeah. He was the one candidate who, who seemed like he was... If the audience, whether the audience was there or not, you would have gotten the same performance. Yes, I think that's true. And I, we both had that same feeling, that Pete could be the guy. Uh, he, he, to me, and again, this is so interesting about age. You can be old and dumb, and you, yeah. he was the youngest one on the stage, and I thought he looked the most mature, he looked the most real. Yeah. He looked yeah. like he didn't have to think. You know, he's the smartest kid in the class. I, I, he didn't have to. And we're not just saying that because we're gay. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> you, said, you said you wanted to wait. <laughs> Did my balls well, taste for him? Well, no, no. No, well, no, but we, he is like the smartest guy in the if, class. If every time, and, you know, all, the only thing I ever wanted out of politics was for the president to be smarter than me. Right. That's <laughs> right. really what I want. Yes.